the name likable uh, I first was uh, given that name by a friend from Uwere West, uh, Henry uh, Apiti, as, uh, popularly known as Apiti, he called me likable and I guess from there the name just stuck. Okay. Alright, whatever reasons uh, they call you likable, I'm sure uh, it will extend to us today and uh, <laughs> we cement that uh, likability here. Yeah. Alright, let's go straight to what happened at the National Assembly. When the news filtered out that uh, the federal government was requesting for such a uh, humongous amount of money in loan. And um, we now got to know that the Southeast was excluded. You know, he sent Shivas, you know, down our spines, and uh, we began to worry. And nothing serious was coming up from our representatives in Abuja before you took that shot. So what was actually behind, uh, what motivated you to do that? Thank you, um, Abdul. Uh, the truth of the matter is that we were all alarmed when we saw the borrowing plan, because that's what it is. As part of the executive legislative relationship, when policies and uh, any big uh, implementation is on the table, the National Assembly is charged with responsibility to make the approval. Be it nomination for Senate, we'll make the laws for the monies that we spend. So uh, we, we had that uh, borrowing plan from the Eighth Assembly and it was shut down in the Senate. Um, then this time around, we were all shocked to not only one, see the introduction of the borrowing plan, but also that they read it in the Senate and passed. Uh, so the Southeast Caucus in the House of Representatives met and uh, we reviewed a lot of options. Uh, having been hinted from the other paper for the week that it was going to be presented before us on Tuesday, we decided the best way to to attack it would be for us all to speak on it but you see uh we don't have the numbers in the house of representatives and if we speak and a voice vote is carried uh it will likely go the way it went in the senate so we decided to come wide way of petition uh that would compel the house to commit the document to a, the standing committee on public petitions and the speaker graciously stood it down for 24 hours to say, okay, they're going to review it again. Uh, and between then, a lot of escalations came in. The Senate saw it as another opportunity to come back and engage at a higher level. Uh, and so the speaker has been exceptionally good. Uh, he has been a friend. He has demonstrated to be a friend of the Southeast. He has made calls to DG budget. He has made calls to the presidency. He has made calls to the minister. And uh, he has also raised the alarm that the petition is already been laid before the house so the next day he was now stepped down again almost indefinitely but we do expect that uh, it will come back again because our reports or our request is not for it to be killed but that the southeast should be included, should be included in the borrowing plan and the proposals oh, all right um, we know uh, how lobbying and uh, worrying uh, happens at the national assembly outside the petition option. Are you embarking on uh, lobbying, lobbying your colleagues from other parts of uh, the country to see that uh, the series of why the service should be included? There's a, a very high level lobbying going on at the moment. And I can tell you that a lot of our colleagues are seeing this as a very divisive uh, uh, proposal. Uh, this is one country, and I'm quoting colleagues <coughs> from the north, from the north central, from the southwest, saying this is very divisive, this is not right, this should not stand. 22.7 billion, depending on the rate that you use to convert it, is approximately 8.2 trillion naira. 8.2 trillion naira to be deployed in this country with not one cobble coming to the geopolitical zone called Southeast. This negates all the principles of the fundamentals of our constitution. It is against the federal character and federalism. It is against the, all the, you look at it, it is, we have laws, Fiscal Responsibility Act, we have Debt Management Commission Act, all the establishment, it's against everything. Uh, there are specified ways that such huge amounts should go. And so what we're doing is we're unbundling so that we have clarity of focus. We don't want to play to the gallery. We don't want to also, we are determined to, 
engage Nigeria to say, look, we are a constituent part of this country. We belong to this journey called Nigeria, and we need to move in an inclusive form. So that's what this is about, to get the Southeast on the table. All right. Now, going beyond uh, the non-inclusion of the Southeast, looking at the fate of this uh, borrowing plan, with the realities in the world economy now, the effect of Corona, the uh, sharp fall in Naira, and um, other you know economic uh, challenges. That are, do you think uh, well, we want to go and borrow this money from China? And uh, China, before Europe was declared the epicenter of the coronavirus, it was China. So uh, and we understand factories industries are shutting down in China. Their uh, GDP is, uh, GDP is falling. So uh, do you still think? This borrowing plan is going to, I mean, see the light of the day with all this happening. Yes. Or will it be an exercise in futility at the end of the day? I, I do believe that the proposal has actually gotten the nod of the lenders and that uh, the stamp of the National Assembly is what is needed to give it the authenticity that uh, the country is being bound to this uh, um, uh, borrowing. The first thing to quickly point out is that the money is not just coming from China. The, com the money is coming from uh, different sources, the African Development Bank, the Islamic Bank, the World Bank, uh, the Chinese Ex Exim Bank, and so on and so forth. Um, yes, this money will be borrowed in the name of Nigeria, and all regions of Nigeria will be bound by it and will be part of the repayment. So if I, as a Southeast, I'm going to be part of the repayment of a loan that I'm not a beneficial to or a beneficiary to, my children will be bound to it. My children's children will be bound to it. This borrowing will bring our total debt exposure to a hundred, approximately hundred and eight, hundred and ten billion dollars with a twenty-year repayment plan. It's not something that uh, I mean. In twenty years, how old will you be? So your children will be part of this repayment. Yeah. So we need, if it's going to be addressing infrastructure in Nigeria, we need the Southeast to be part of that conversation. That's basically what it is. No government survives without uh, exposures. Not even the American government. Not even the Chinese government that you're talking about. We're all exposed one way or the other. What is important is what do you do with the money when it comes in. Our budget since I've been in the National Assembly has always been based on a deficit. So we have always had borrowing components. And like I said, it's not a new request. It's just a reintroduction. Having failed in the 8th Assembly, they're trying to see if we can push it through again. In January this year, nobody saw the coronavirus coming. Yeah. And that has had global uh, impact. If you go to China today, you get clean air because there's no more production. All the factories and the chimneys are shut down. Everywhere is clean. The knock-on effect and the ripple is that with the ongoing uh, war between trade war between the Saudi Arabians and the Russians, oil price plummeted. Dollar in the unofficial rate uh, market, as of two days ago, hit 400, even though the central bank is quickly trying to intervene for stability and refuse to devalue. So yeah. I knew that as of yesterday, uh, because I'm tracking it on a daily basis, it has started reverting back to where we were. But we're not there yet. We're still about 10 naira off. And then, you know, the global, if you situate it, it may look like uh, a wrong time. I know that this will pass. Uh, epidemics come once every hundred years and all of that we have we have seen unconfirmed reports but I know this will pass uh, if you look at the virus itself the fatality rate is lower than at least, was, at least yes. in Nigeria there's hope yes, there's we, hope. We, 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 yes. We, we hear that the virus will not do well in this country because yeah. God is uh, the doctor <laughs> of Nigeria, Nigeria so. <laughs> okay um, uh, well, there's one other issue I, I would want you to uh, clarify here because so many people at the end of the day and when the house of assembly approves this budget it will still go back to the president probably or the executive for uh, implementation and people are saying that by going by the way this present federal government has gone in terms of uh, national integration it appears the government you know likes favoring a certain section of the country against other so if Eventually, the National Assembly neutralizes it at the level of National Assembly and pass on to the executive. Will the president still be willing to, I mean, carry the Southeast along? Because it appears from all his appointments and everything, you know, the Southeast has not been you know, really favored. He even said it 
uh, that he got a certain percentage of vote and they don't expect. So could this, you know, uh, do you think uh, the president will revert? If you, if you, if you well, um, my people sent me to the National Assembly to be their voice. And uh, I always consult some of my leaders when national issues come, wherever they may be. There are leaders that are outside the country said, they, what is your thought on this? And how would you want me to pitch my reactions? Um, so I speak for the people of Mbitoli Kedulu, but I told you that we had a Southeast Caucus meeting. So I'm not just speaking as uh, Mbitoli Federal Constituency, Mbitoli Kedulu Federal Constituency. I'm also part of the larger Southeast Caucus with 43 members and 15 members in the Senate. And Not in across one, parties. Yes, across party line. And in one voice, we came out to say, look, federal government, dear Mr. Federal government, take another look at this proposal. Are you aware? Has it come to your attention? Do you know? Perhaps it's an oversight or whatever it is. We don't see a conspiracy. We're not saying there's a conspiracy, but we're saying that look at this. I look, I have another problem with this proposal. Not just the exclusion of the Southeast. The second, when you analyze the sectorial allocations, you will see that for me, if I was to manage the resources of a people, I will be looking to put in resources in projects that guarantee the return. Five hundred million dollars was that uh, allocated for the digitalization of NTA. Wow. Who has given CNN money to go digital? <laughs> Who has given uh, channels money to go digital? Who has given you money to go digital? Go to the stock market. Yes. We have areas of critical intervention that are gaping where you put this kind of money and instantly you start seeing it. Let me give you one. The maritime sector in this country. Do you know that the consumption, the consum fish consumption in Nigeria is 2.8 million tons. What we produce is 800,000 tons. So we import 2 million tons annually at the cost of $2.5 billion. This just 5 billion taken into the maritime sector, beef up our maritime security, bring trawlers in. Nigerian waters has the best shrimp in the creeks. What the, the shrimps do is they, they go to the creeks to lay their eggs and all of that. And when the temperature cools down, they go to the open sea. That's why you see all the Chinese. They oh, come yeah. to fish in our water up to today. This can create 10,000 jobs and give you $3.8 billion in one year. And you're talking of putting money in NTA. You're talking of building. In the southeast, if you connect us by rail, or open up our waters to the international, uh, yeah. to the ocean. There are things that we can, we can do power projects. We need, we are part of this country. So not just our exclusion that is the problem. The other thing is that I want us to x-ray line by line to be sure, that's my job as a parliamentarian, yeah. to make sure that judicious use of our resources. The things are not coming the way they used to come before. So whatever we get today, it's about making proper utilization and implementation of those uh, resources. That's uh, part of the issues too. All right, you're still on to our report on Ozisa 96.1 FM Oweri. We've been here with uh, Honorable Henry Mwamuba and uh, we're going to open up the phone lines now so that um, you can call us and um, um, add to the discussion. The numbers to call are 80 5315 080-322-53415 and 70 when you call us, please try and lower the volume of your radio and um, use uh, acceptable languages. Please don't insult or abuse anybody. Hello? Good morning, Professor yes, Efren. Good morning. Your name and where are you calling from? Good morning, Degas. I remember Ambassador Hanajo. I call from Owen. All right, good morning. Good morning. Yes, you, you have tried a little by raising up your hands to challenge the loan issue. We did this work with the So the Kedu you are representing are happy with that act. But for the past four years or five years, you are there very, very low. We want to urge you to sit up because this is the Kedu federal constituency need more. We don't get anything from federal government since they are there. So please improve. Thank you, Ambassador Yana. All right, well, I think on a, on, a, on a different day, we are going to talk about assessment and performance. But today, we are looking at um, the loan 
and uh, its effect on the southeast. So please, well, let's, thank let's, you. let's concentrate on that. <laughs> Hello. 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 Good morning. Your name and where you're calling from? Yeah, to this pastor, Gebuka. Pastor, welcome. Uh, honorable, good morning. Good morning. We are very happy with you. You'll be doing well in the National Assembly. Mbike is very well, very happy with our honorable. Particularly the move and step you have taken in respect of this loan. We are very happy with it. We urge you to go on. Put efforts, show that, that the loan does not go through. In as much as it's moving about the southeast, because it's a cheap. If the loan goes down without southeast, I think the use of this special, this area, will not be happy. Even next 20 years, we are talking of. We are very happy. Everybody, men, women are jubilating because of the move you people have taken. Congratulations for the Thank honorable. you. Thank, thank you, sir. We are well pleased with you. Thank this you. Okay. Pastor, thank you for that. Okay. Uh, the cause, uh, hello. 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 Please lower the volume on your radio. Hello. Uh, this is, uh, this is, uh, uh, Washington, Maryland. Hello. Hello. Where are you calling from? Njaba. Go on. Njeri, okay, go on, go on. Njeri, I will. Is your constitution, go on. Uh, one, one question I'm trying to ask is this. Assuming after every enforce by our representatives there, and the executives are going to pass this through, what actually will be the advice to us as a reaction? And what will be indeed the only reaction? And I'm asking our his colleagues, what will be the reaction? And what is the general advice on us? All right. Thank you very much. All right. He is asking, uh, assuming yes. after all the you know efforts, uh, yet they, they go ahead and uh, exclude the Southeast in the loan. What do you advise the Southeast to do? Okay. Well, first of all, um, I want to bring to everybody's attention that a group has taken the federal government to court okay. as of today. Okay. To, with a view to stopping, and they were specific to the Chinese Exim Bank okay. that look, we are supposed to be part of this loan, and uh, we are going to court to stop you from availing the loan to okay. Nigeria. You know, there's this uh, caveat, and to buyers beware. We are raising our voice to say, lenders beware. Yeah. <laughs> when uh, a facility is about to go through and the lender picks signals. That there is potential danger what do you think the lender will do that mm. is one because but, of yes but despite all of this if the national assembly have made their position clear and not approved the loan because having passed in the senate what will happen now is that if it has a hiccup in the house of reps by way of we are not passing it or we adjust it to include the southeast which is what we are asking for if we succeed in doing that it has to go back to the Senate for concurrence. Okay. So they will have to get their report and merge it with our report and harmonize it before they will push it through for uh, approval or for acceptance. Okay. What he is asking is that despite all of this, if we don't approve it or we harmonize it, yet somehow Nigeria finds itself in a position where the executive have committed us. Yes. What will the National Assembly do? We will do what we do first. We will shout. We will walk stage walk out, we will protest, we will do everybody. But if the executive go ahead to uh, be insensitive to commit us, which I can tell you is not going to happen, because if there is no approval from the National Assembly, that becomes that whole exercise becomes null and void. So we have to give some kind of quasi approval or an approval. Uh, I am pushing for an approval for this loan, but with Southeast. Uh, accommodated. I really want to see an improved and a well-developed Southeast. Uh, we have issues. We have areas that can benefit uh, our people, you know, and um, I, I'm not shy of taking loan. What matters, like I said, is what do we do with the loan? No. Yeah, but if the executive go ahead and sign us into this and then they, they say, look, we don't care about the National Assembly. 
I don't think this country has been in that kind of situation before where right. we took a loan. But if that happens, we'll uh, go back and look at the laws and see what we can do. Okay. Um, uh, in the nature of this program, uh, what we usually do here on Saturday morning is to analyze political development, okay. uh, current affairs, and trending issues. So we're lucky to have you today. So yeah. you're going to be part of us no problem. in this analysis. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, remember, I told you I have uh, Gele Abba here who is uh, the publisher of uh, National News Break, newspaper, and uh, we also have uh, Modestus Mwapai here, the publisher of uh, Big Truth. And uh, we are going to be going straight to some of the analysis we have this morning. But before we go to that, uh, let me come back to you again. Uh, the PDP is now the opposition party in Imo State. And um, you just had your World Congresses, uh, something like that. Now, uh, what is what is uh the what is the situation in the party now with the world congress is uh was it uh peaceful was it chaotic uh you know what, yes what's that going on we've been hearing well, about you. suspension of people and uh, expulsion and all that yeah okay well the party is going through its world congresses nationwide and there are areas in nigeria that it has happened uh th that for emu is actually incidentally today um but in areas where it has happened, it has been very peaceful. I have not had reports. You also note that as a party that is in opposition now in the state and even in the federal, we incrementally improve our processes to ensure that we minimize the litigations and uh, the fallouts, the negative fallouts. Usually when people ascribe uh, towards a, a position and they don't get it in the past, if they are made to be part of the process they accept the outcome but when you exclude them and they are not made to be part of the process then therein lies the problem we have seen in some wards where the world has come together harmoniously to say these are the people that we have chosen to represent us and all of that but there are other places where it has been contentious and you know we slog it out to this but we are learning uh, in 2019, the process of the election, the peace, PDP, uh, you know, primaries was held in an open field. Mine was held in an open field. The governor, the House of Assembly, and all of that. And you see the fallout. I don't have. I never had a pet election petition in my second term. Yeah, because they were, they were confused. I mean, convinced that everything was the process. Was and that's the benefit of okay. doing it transparently. Okay. We are determined to have it transparently today. So far, there is no evidence of any. Anyway. Okay, um, Modestus, you are a journalist here in Imo State. Yeah, you are like that. Let's let's have your take on the PDP primary uh, congresses that are going on. Uh, journalist, what's, what's your observation? Well, thank you very much, uh, Abdul. What PDP is doing actually is constitutional. is part of the processes to us uh, of, of of having the party stabilized. Uh, I'm not against it. I'm not a member of PDP for now, and, and I think uh, just as the right on, uh, the honourable has said. The, we've not had we've not had instances of uh, skirmishes. We've not had instances of uh, trouble here and there as it used to be. One, PDP. I don't expect PDP to have problem now because they are in they are in no position. The the contention is not high. Uh, a lot of people have left the party since the new government came in. Um, so it, it, it's more of a, 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 an in-house in the family thing. The only problem I think they may have is uh, on the issue of Samdadi, the, the angle of Samdadi. Because I understand too that the Samdadi is still in PDP, he has remained in PDP, he has vowed to remain in PDP, and he's also, um, you know, in this process, in this Congress with his supporters. I don't know how the party will be able to manage that vis-a-vis -vis, uh, a lot of the immediate past government, right on the American job. But generally speaking, PDP has come of age, 20 something years in the saddle. Um, they've, they've had this over and over again. So, this is not a new thing. PDP is not like APC, actually, who is just uh, new in the system, so to say. Uh, by name or by, by actors. name? By name, by name. By no, the actors, I mean, the actors are the same. <laughs> most, of, most, of the, most of the actors actually were in PDP before yes. now. So, <laughs> what I'm saying, by name, APC, I don't think APC have had more than two congresses or three congresses since, they came, since the, the party was formed. But so, what I'm saying, strictly speaking, that PDP has had this congress thing. So, if they have had uh, mistakes, they have made mistakes in the past. I expect them to correct it right now. It's unfortunate that the party, is, the party, the party found itself the in the present situation. I wish them, I wish them the best, and I expect them to have a seamless congress. All right, uh, Gale, let's let's have a take. 
Is it on the PDP? Yes, on the PDP. Well, As a journalist, what's your observation? I, I think the PDP is about the, do I say, better organized party than the APC, uh, which uh, we, they, they don't normally organize anything properly. Um, so, my, my friend mentioned that was some daddy. I think the party will be able to overcome that one and make sure that it continues to forge ahead. So I wish the PDP luck. All right. Uh, Okay, now let, let, let's look at the highlights we have this morning. First is that um, um, the governor has made appointments. Uh, he has uh, nominated his uh, <coughs> commissioners, uh, special advisors, and uh, appointed some. And uh, there's a general uh, uh, <laughs> general uh, uh, understanding or agreement um, everywhere across the state that the governor, uh, in fact, some local tabloids had it, had their screaming headlines. You know, also them uh, Disappoints Tony Chuku, disappoints uh, Okorocha, disappoints Ararume, you know. So, uh, what is your what is your take on this? Because uh, why I'm saying this is because um, when uh, Governor Sodema arrived newly, there mm. were people that rejoiced even more than himself. But uh, okay? they have been so, you know, than and uh, uh, now that appointments have been made, these people seem not to be. Uh, there was a particular meeting they had at Tony Chuku's place. Which was uh, publicized everywhere, and people were, you know, people were trooping to Tony Chuku's house as uh, the maybe the, the power base of Imo State. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it appears that nothing came out from that. So, what do you think? How, what do you think uh, is the reason behind that? Or is the governor has the governor just changed after the appeal court, after the Supreme Court? Uh, I, I will thank you very much. I want to say this thing and let it be on record that what governor uh, what governor hopes of the mad deeds is encouraging. It has, it has, it has actually for the first time, people are now beginning to understand, begin to be encouraged that it's good to, it's good to support someone, and uh, you have the hope that when the person wins, you'll be rewarded. What if you look at the list of the people who was the man appointed? They are all people that have worked for him. They are all people that have been with him. So it is for me. My paper reported it is a reward for loyalty. It's a reward for consistency. It's encouraging. Unlike before. What we used to have here is a situation where somebody who is, as a governor, he, he, will, he will go and bring somebody from outside, some people who never participated in the victory, either as a, in the guise of uh, the, the techno class, the expertise, or even uh, you know, allocate some positions to some, so to, so to say, some leaders. The, those leaders will either go and bring their, bro their brothers or their sons or their daughters from abroad even and come to occupy positions that ordinarily should have been occupied by those who worked. Because in politics, if you work, you reap. Mm. So what Uzodema did is encouraged, is, is salutary. Mm. For me, uh, I, I will encourage him to go ahead and continue to do that. Then on the issue of Tony Chupu, Ararume and the Rocha Sokorocha being sidelined, so to say, you see, people are beginning to input and import, you know, crisis where, there, well, it's where none exists. Tony Chupu has never, uh, has never complained. None of these people have complained that they were excluded. People are rather, uh, you know, complaining. I'm, I'm most of the people complaining are PDP people. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, when PDP was in power here, they, they, did, they did things different from what Uzama is doing. And people, people were shouting, and they, they caught the bluff of all those things. So, so Tony Chuku is a very good friend of the governor. I think he's happy with what the governor did. Rochas, if you see what Rochas people, they're all happy. So these people have not complained. Why are you crying more than they believed? Also, the, ma, the people who are the appointed are emo people. They are well qualified. They are fit and proper for the positions. And everybody is rejoicing. Okay, but, but don't you think, don't you think uh, the, some are of the opinion that the governor is doing this line because uh, he knows that uh, emo lights are not very comfortable with the Korocha or the Amoro camp. That if he begins to mingle with them, that he may lose, especially now that he's facing credibility uh, crisis, that he may worsen the situation. Let, let, let me correct you. One, Governor Hope is not facing, not facing any credibility crisis. It may be his, no, his legitimacy. Own, yeah, okay, legitimacy. Okay, okay. If, 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 if it is legitimacy, legitimacy, I don't think there's any legitimacy, legitimacy that is more than Supreme Court approving or Supreme Court giving all, uh, judgment. See, I don't understand what you mean by legitimacy. Legitimacy, if we contest election and I have issues, you are declared. The whole thing will end at the Supreme Court. Supreme Court is the only arm. The court yes, is the yes, only arm. The, the, the court can give judgment, but what we are saying is, remember, this is democracy it's about the people. What is the mind of the people? What, what How is, do the people what, feel? Why you say the people? Because, there, there is no, no, there is because no, why, why I'm saying this is because there was a scenario that played out on the day Supreme Court gave judgment. Mm. Okay? A news first filtered into town that Nyedioha 
I don't want. I don't want. Mm. And you saw the jubilation in town everywhere. Okay? No, no. Now, and eventually, and not a second news came that it has been awarded to Hopus Adema. And the and whole town mm, went mm, quiet. You understand? <laughs> so, the, what I'm saying is, this is democracy about the people. Forget about the judgment and whatever. I, 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 but I, I, how I, does it appear to people? Let me tell you one thing. Let me tell you one thing. You see, what you call emo people, there is no single person that his name is emo, emo person. All of us are emo people. It depends on you. Now, people, I, I might be expecting something to jubilate over. You know, naturally, when you are outside, you tend to believe that people are with you than the person inside. Okay, if you watch, if you watch the day, also they might enter the mo after the primaries with Rocha Sokorocha. If you saw what happened that day, mm. because he was outside, it is natural. Rocha was inside. You see, we he, people, if you can go and mobilize people to wait for an action, okay, what that action okay. takes place, okay, okay, um, okay, okay, okay let me, let me, let me, let me, are not really uh, seriously speaking. You, 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 you have said enough. Okay, mm. Gale, what uh, do you agree with him? Uh, well, the, where I want to come in is uh, the area where I love the appointment is that uh, he excluded members of the Aboro camp. Because uh, that. <laughs> you have, you have, you have, you have to be. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you are yeah, with because that. these people were rejoicing even more than the Capo that won the election through the Supreme Court. Now, the legitimacy challenge we are talking about, what the Supreme Court gave was judgment. People expected justice. So when justice did not come, that was why the town was very quiet. What is justice? Uh, justice is different from judgment. <laughs> now, the Supreme Court <laughs> said they cannot sit in, ju on, in judgment over their own judgment. That was the thing. All right, okay, we have uh, Honorable Henry one over here. Uh, I, I know he's a PDP chief thing, but I, I, maybe you would like to uh, talk Thank on you. this also. Thank you, Abdul. You know, I find it very difficult to make a comment on the current emo administration because I I was part of the political process and I think it's very sad when the conscience of the people uh, see some clear situation and are unable to speak up. Uh, part of the 388 boots was my boots where I my own boots the next one my next primary school boot my village my where I put my vote was cancelled that the result never then brought in something and then you expect me to make a comment i think at my level uh i respect judicial pronouncement i accept it but uh, i really really think that the saddest thing the saddest thing not to emo to nigeria right it today what has been introduced in nigeria today those that are benefiting from it the day it will turn around just go and mark my word so i have nothing to say I wish everybody well, like uh, my brothers have said, we're all emo lights. We will work with whoever we need to work with to make sure that we deliver. We have gone through the election process. We are now the the process of governance. So we need to deliver some of our promises to our people. That's my all right. Okay, let, let's go back to the next issue we want to look at, uh, which is um, the uh, approval of a 7.5 billion naira loan for uh in Muslim government by the house of assembly and questions are coming up and people are saying okay we have this call it's an international call hello it's calling from london hello good morning, good morning. your name and where are you calling from yeah my name is first i'm calling you from Berlin, okay jamie all right go on okay can i talk now go on go on please go on okay uh, i just want to first and foremost um I'll thank the honorable member in the town, Mr. Wilson, to be to the council. Uh, please help me out. Yeah, can you hear me? Go on, go on, go on. It's just that, yeah, please, uh, lower the volume on your radio. We're having a hold back for your radio. Oh, okay, so, so sorry. Okay. I just want to thank the honorable member there for, you know, his quality representation. So, I, I just want to add that, um, Whatever they are going to do, let this uh, bullying not be for consumption. Anything that is coming to you, know, you know, that the Eastern State shouldn't be something for consumption. It can't be. Can you hear me? We are hearing you clearly. Go on. Okay. We cannot continue to borrow co for consumption for a good number of years. You know, the country has been borrowing, you know, all kinds of money and nothing to show for it. Because I believe that when you borrow, it has to be something that will be. 
you know, the bottom line has to be for the overall benefit of the people. But when you borrow for consumption at the end of the day, nobody benefits, not it becomes a vicious circle. And that is for that. Well, I want to add to this. Um, if you look at the UK the local government, the attitudes of Uzaba, the Ziyama and Amakora, it seems, you know, it's not part of the state. There's no single development over the years that you can see that has taken place in, in those communities. And it's really worrisome for most of us who are from those neighborhoods. So I don't know, maybe for those of them who are very close to the government, we should just uh, do something about it. So I believe that governance is about the people. And when they are not getting these things, it doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. And for the young man there, the children that said, um, politics, when you want to with politics, or when you, you are involved in politics, you get compensated. Are you being compensated at the expense of the people? Are you put, um, one page in square holes. You don't get people who are going to do this. Because this idea of um, being in politics for what you get, not for what to do for the people, I don't think it's right. It has to be about the people. It's not about the people. It doesn't necessarily mean, of course, you work for the development of the place, not for what you get or what you get to the point. It has to be for development. It doesn't have to be because you work as a politics just for getting something from politics. And, uh, that, that we just need to do something to make, make if, if everybody's fine, to do something everybody can make. I think it's for the overall advantage right. of the world. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Your time is up. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, what's, your, what's your name again? Prosper. Okay, so Prosper. Prosper. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Prosper. Yeah, yeah, Prosper from Berlin, Germany. Okay, you're watching from Facebook. All right. Prosper, thank you. Yeah. 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 Okay, that's Prosper from Berlin. That's to tell you I reach in this program. The whole world is listening and people are watching. Uh, in Facebook, we have over uh, 2,000 and uh, something uh, viewers, you know, currently watching the program. So, it's a popular one. All right, let's just take this one also. Hello? Hello? Yeah, good morning. You're never where I'm calling from. <laughs> Hello? Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, my name is Pastor. Okay, now, okay, go. Yeah, yeah go on. Go on. I, I greet all of you there, most especially... The honorable member representing me, the honorable member representing the good people of Umbige, right honorable, everyone of us, you are welcome, sir. Thank you. I'll come with this truth, my man, you are welcome. <laughs> okay, well done. Then I, I greet you, sir. Thank you, good morning. Uh, you guys have done wonderfully well this morning, trying to inform us. So first of all, I want to commend the uh, right honorable, everyone of us. Look, let me tell you, the first caller who called from uh, SWA, who is not from Mbike, said something that I want to correct now. When you come to Mbike, I am telling you the truth. All oh, the truth, yeah, women and men, all are happy with right on a boy, for this, for this alone. And all he has been doing for the people, the people of Mbike are so much appreciative. They have appreciated you and encouraged you to go to do more. We are happy. Whatever you want from us, we must give it to you. God will bless you. Try it. You, you have tried to speak on behalf of the whole South East. Not only in BK. What are we talking about? Even people should be not thank you or uh, 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 right on the board. No, it's not all about in BK. You are not alone. We must say it. Then on a point right and uh, what happened in Nemo said, the people are say angry. That's not the truth. The people's mandate was stolen by the Supreme Court. But like they say, they are the final and we don't have any powers, you know, to question them. That's my humble thing. People are not All happy. Right. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Nokia. Become thank you. Okay, um let's let's do justice to the issue of uh, the seven point five billion naira loan for Imo. And the question is um this um approval at the house of assembly uh the discussion was not detailed uh the 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 money approved what the money is going to be used for was not clearly stated okay yeah. and um when you now try to just oppose it with what happened in the last uh the eighth 
most administration uh, of the of Inyedi. Uh, no, no, uh, uh, okay, if you start from Owole Road to Asokorocha, we took a lot of loan in that government. Uh, at least the ones that, that were very uh, clear, visible, was the bailout funds, because they, are, they were also kind of loan, loan which yeah. we are paying back. Yeah, yeah. The various tranches of the bailout fund, the Paris refund, okay, okay, Paris refund is not loan, the bailouts. And then other ones that were, you know, uh, done in the uh, in form of bonds and all that. And um, uh, uh, debt management office did uh, state uh, categorize as one of the heavily uh, indebted in states. Uh, states in terms of loans and all that. And he uh, came in and uh, within that eight months, he was openly saying it everywhere that his government is not going to take any loan, at least for the meantime. And we saw very qualitative uh, jobs, you know, being initiated by that government. And uh, the government of uh, Senator Hopuzolima is just on board, uh, less than three months, and the House has just approved the uh, 7.5 billion naira, you know. And the details are not uh, are not clear. Secrecy. Okay, nobody knows what this money is going to be used for clearly. So. Isn't it a source of concern, uh, Modestus? Uh, thank you very much, uh, Abdul. Let me first and foremost correct an impression. When Yedion came on board, yes, he did say that he was not going to collect any loan. But we all saw that he went and collected loan. He collected the, the loan he used to buy the vehicles, the controversial vehicles for the House Assembly members. I start to be quoted. I start to be collected. He collected loan. Just uh, so, uh, contrary to what he promised, there were a lot of promises that he made that he never kept. He said he was going to do election in six months. He never, he never kept that, that promise. That is by the way. Now on this issue of loan for Hope of Well, I am not I am not yet privy to the details of that loan. Much as I am not uh, I'm not in support of frivolous loan taking by government officials. But in this one, I will need to get the details before commenting. What we had was that he has applied for 7 point, some, 7 point something billion naira loan or something, and the House Assembly has approved of it. Now, who puts the Do you think it's right for the House to have approved without? I mean, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You see, Senator Hope puts the we all know. He is, he, he give it to him. He's a less materialistic man. He's a man who has the joy, whose joy is always seeing people enjoy seeing people you know attend to their problems and he does that so if he has applied for this loan let us get to know the reasons why he applied for this loan. i believe that he cannot be frivolous he cannot these loans cannot just be for the sake of taking or taking it he must have reason genuine reason for that matter for taking these loans now, so now, now, like, now some people some people some people have problem they say um he ha there are no commissioners yet mm. in the ministries money in the ministries and the need for this kind of loan ought to have emanated from the various ministries when you have by bureaucracy when you have these people in place mm. they cannot begin to work on the policy of the government and then generate their needs do their need assessment generate their needs and all that will not culminate into having this demand for loan now these things are not in place and the civil servants who are manning those uh, uh, ministries have their have their their limits the extent they can Abdul, so how did the governor manufacture the need uh, uh, Abdul, the ministries are working we have people whether i call them civil servant or politician who are doing this job the loans in question have not been have not, have not been received they they have the, the governor has not started the spend uh, uh, you know disbursing this loan or spending this money commissioners have been appointed by monday they will be sworn in so there, there, no, there's nothing there's nothing there's nothing to to break your head on over this matter. Well, it has so, been approved. The loan has been approved. The, the loan has been approved. The loan, see, let me tell you, with the, what is happening in the country now, you see some governors been having problems with the EFCC. Who's the man? You can accuse him of anything. He has never had any problem. He, he has never been convicted. The man, the man himself. No, but, but, but he has had problems. He has not been convicted, but he has problems. Many politicians have had problems. So that's what no, he's no, trying. No, so, I'm trying so, to follow so, what he said. You say the governor has not. The governor, the governor has not been convicted. The governor is still seen as a clean man in yeah. the eye of the law. So whatever anybody might accuse, there's nobody. There's nobody who is completely clean. So when people begin to, even here, who just spent seven months plus, if you probe him, like, you find a lot of things. If we, just okay, if you to probe, like, you find a lot of things. All right, okay. okay. I get what, it. What, what I will, get advise, let's have your what I will advise is that this current house should not behave like the one under Willie Rochas of Korocha by giving blanket approval for every request. They gave him authority to incur expenditure. This loan was not discussed properly. 
there was no public hearing to uh, explanation as to what the loans like uh, I, I like what the uh, right honorable one over did you find out the components of the loan it's not just uh, approving giving a blanket approval to the governor what is this loan going to be used for which sector is it going to be uh, deployed to they didn't do that they just gave him approval there was no public hearing to tell us what the loan is for and why the governor should get a 7.5 billion dollar loan now now that he has just joined the uh, matter the saddle so i think uh, the house has to explain the maybe the the chairman of the house committee on information okay honorable hey, well, well, let, let's come back to you uh when it has to do with uh, loan and all that you you are like a pro because you've been in the in the uh, legislature relationship between the executive and the legislature when it when it has to do with loan just like what we are saying about the, the 22.7 billion dollar loan do you think the house acted rightly well you know i am a federal representative my jurisdiction is uh, my federal constituency and the federal government. However, uh, I know that part of the responsibility of the parliament is check and balance. And while every governor or every government would want to ordinarily have a harmonious relationship with their assembly, so that when they bring requests forward, it can get speedy passage without, uh, with less rancor. That's why where you say a rubber stamp kind of uh, situation. I don't know what the details are on this one. I may not be able to proffer any person, but I would want the assembly to rise up to do their job because that is what they're there for. They're there to represent the people and they must scrutinize every request that comes. And uh, the only thing that I'm picking from all of this conversation is that perhaps up till now, we do not know what the loan should be used for. I think it's important that when a borrowing plan is submitted, the details come with it because the details that you will actually use to take your decisions yeah. is based on the details that comes with the document. And if up till now it is still like my brother uh, Modesto said, when the Hedioha government took a loan, everybody can say this loan went to the cars. Mm. And so it would have come as a request from the House of Assembly not from the executive arm and usually we parliamentarians we don't joke with our our whatever you, <laughs> you promise your, your to give to us yes, yeah. if you say you are going to give us a laptop to do our work parliamentarians will hunt you down as a governor or as a president say do the, because these are this is what goes with the office so if perhaps the cars go with the offices and they are not getting it i can imagine the kind of pressure that the government would have been put on. So I can say if I'm a governor, I'm not going to take a loan. But if I see my members that I'm supposed to work with come with so much heat, what do you think I'm going to do? And I make that exception. Another thing we need to know is that when you are sitting on a seat, you don't know how the shoe pinches. You don't know. It's easy for people to say this and say that, but you don't know. So I cannot make a statement on this until we have the details. But what i must advise my brothers in the house is that unconfirmed reports seem to suggest a rubber stamp kind of relationship that is bad for demo that's not what we want we have unconfirmed reports that they were induced to move from one party to the other uh, to, to cross carpet those kind of things are not good we need to have a good check and balance it's good to be known for something stand for something people have approached me are you going to move? And I'm like, what am I moving for? What is the incentive to move? It's not money. Some things go beyond. It's good to be known for something. And that's why I urge Ndemo, people should stand for the truth. For once, in Imo State, we went through an election. We campaigned. I went through everywhere. There are some people that did not go through election. They did not campaign. But today, they're in government house. That is the truth. Whether we like it or not. But, but I do, so, let me also point out. Is it not well, strange? Uh, the, the, uh, the phone lines are buzzing and uh, people want to talk. So let's let's uh, open up the phone lines now so that people can talk. But uh, you can just. Uh, what I wanted to point out is that it is it is bad that we are discussing. Uh, a loan has been approved without even the details being known to the public. Okay. Uh, well, we, we, we just pray that, uh, like Modesto said, that uh, they get the details. Because uh, what happened during the Rochester Culture Administration, where 
um, authority to incur expenditure for 100 billion naira was approved for the government. Yeah, just blanket. So yeah. you do not even know the details. Not you just go ahead and do what you like with such a uh, money. All right, let's take the course now. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Your name and where you're calling from? <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. All right. Hello. 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 Good morning. Good morning. Your name where you calling from? I'm on Sunday, Jamaica. Hello. Okay, go on. Your line is a bit uh, not clear. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Good morning. So I call to commend your effort in making the voice of the Eastern to be heard. I call to thank you for all your efforts in your legacy work. We are really happy of you. Go on and God bless you and give you more wisdom to do your work there. Thank you. You are the voice of, you are the second voice of Abba, Abba Ibe in the Senate. Okay. Okay, this is, this is Abba Ibe in the house of rep. Abba Ibe is in the Senate. This was the house. Okay, thank you. Know, you. I, I met Abba Ibe uh, two days ago when they okay. came to, to solicit our help. And he said to me, young man, in it, yeah. <laughs> And uh, we hugged ourselves and it was okay. really... Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning, your name and where are calling from? I'm from Friday, April. I'm coming from Position Friday, past five. Okay. I'm Amnijahu today. I'm Amnijahu today. I'm not from Nepal. Oh, okay. Yes. Amnijahu, you are welcome. Thank you. Amnijahu, we thank you for coming up with a good bill for that is not from Vitoli as a local government. There has been no concession <laughs> to to the size of. I, I, I feel for me, they should give you that concession because you are commanding the biggest largest local government. Okay. Not minding, we we'll appreciate you, but we want you to be trying to bring back all things living in Bethlehem. And the cable. We want to see your efforts in empowering the youth. Please, please, we we we'll like you. Thank you. Hello. 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 Good afternoon. Good morning. Your good name and where you calling from? Good morning, my brother. Yes. My name is Prince Kennedy Chigozi. I'm calling from away right now. Go on. I want to first of all commend right Honorable Henry Wawaba for his intellectual prowess in the Federal House of Representatives. Of course, recently I saw what he did in terms of trying to balance the law corrected by the federal government to make sure that how people represented very well. And I want to thank the panelists here for the discussion you people are having this morning. But I want to say one thing. It is not good for House of Assembly of the state to be overturned or to be termed as such. Because they are the ones that dictate the direction of democracy in every uh, democratic governance. So I want to thank you for bringing up this uh, topic this morning. I want to urge them, if they are listening, to please Make sure they check and confirm everything about that loan before they pass it. Yeah, thank you very much. It, it has been passed already. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. All right. Thank you. Okay. The loan has been passed already, and uh, I'm sure maybe the government, the, I'm sure the government is listening to the program. Yeah. And I'm using the, this opportunity. The speaker, to, and the speaker, we're using this opportunity to ask for details 
uh, of this money because it's Imo money at the end mm, of the day. Just like we are talking about federal government money, uh -huh. we need to be sure that the entire Imo is also captured in this uh, budget. Let the uh, loan uh, not be used for consumption uh, like they advise uh, for Abdul, the federal Abdul, loan. Abdul, is it also important we say something? Mm. You see, we have always been complaining of robust stamping and robust stamping and robust stamping of House Assembly. And it, it, it didn't start today. The complaint didn't start today. The House of Assembly members represent every segment, every individual in the state. Mm. I want to tell you that the bills that come to them, if any bill, either executive bill or individual bills or whatever bill that come, and they see that it is for the overriding interest of the public, however short, uh, however, uh, no matter the shortness of the time the bills are, are brought, they can pass it. Mm. I'm happy on Mwaba is a ranking member a little later. What, yeah, that is, is at the federal level. But I tell you that the democracy we practice at the uh, federal level, strictly speaking, is not the same thing we practice at the state, all over the states. So if you look at House Assembly, House Assembly members can pass bills if they see that that bills will impact on the people. For instance, for no, instance, no, 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 let, me, let, me let, me, let, let me let me give you an instance. Yeah, let me no, give you an instance. Yes. Yeah, let me give you an instance. If a bill is brought to the House Assembly that requires that the the coronavirus COVID nineteen, you know, should be curtailed within two days or three days, and the certain amount of money is allocated for this. You don't expect the House Assembly member to start calling for, and this is an emergency thing. No, no, start no, calling, no. Start calling for, for, start calling for. From what you're saying, from what you're saying, uh, if such request is coming, uh, it is stated there for Corona curtailment. Now the, coming, the, are coming. the problem, no, the the problem we have is that this uh, seven point five. Billion, billion naira mm -hmm. has nothing attached to it. It is not true. Is, no, no, it is not true. Okay, tell us. That's, that's, that's what I'm telling you. Now. My father, please inform us. My father, because a, for a, now, a, the House of Assembly has not been able to tell us. Hold on, sir. Hold on, sir. A federal lawmaker is here. He he knows that it is practically impossible for a, a borrowing plan to be submitted to the legislature without details. We've had it before. No, 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 no. We have had. We have had that. I tell you this one. You go from Hopus or Demma. He's not a naive person. He's a he has been a legislator himself. So you hope that my hope hope that my is not like Rocha uh, uh, Modestus, you are a journalist. Okay. Yeah. Now from all your inquiries, mm. okay, I'm sure your paper also would have After now, after fine. now, I will from, ask for from, that from all your inquiries, yeah. mm. did you come across any reason, any reason attached to the that I, the, I, I, I said okay. it earlier on. For now, that, you that, don't have. Yeah, I said it earlier on. That so, okay. I will ask for them. We, for now, now, that, but for now, for now, block on them. That's what I'm saying. The, 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 the question is that Imo people never even knew that there was an application yes, for loan. Yes, yes, yes. It took everybody Before by surprise. Before it was even passed by yes, the house. It took everybody by surprise. Was that just aware that the body was applied for 25,000? Was that just aware? Yeah, of course. So, if a government wants to apply for a loan, it will start calling everybody. Why the South East? Why the South East got to know that they were excluded was mm. because of the details the, the that we are you know that we are attached to that up to double okay. i will come back to this station okay it's okay i will come, come back to this station Fine. okay that, that's the reason why we are here we want to know and uh, know what is happening with our money okay um okay more calls you know of course hello hello good morning gentlemen good morning chief fidel thank you chief fidel calling from Avino, what a West local government. your voice your voice is always uh, different from other <laughs> <laughs> I salute you. Thank you, sir. Modest to Sadgele, well, be blessed to salute you because you are doing what I expect. <laughs> Thank you, Thank Thank you. you sir. <laughs> well, let me say this quickly. People are praising Honorable Mwawoba. Yes, as Nigerians, they have to. But what you have done there, Honorable, I'm telling you, is what you were voted to go yes. and do. Correct. Yeah. We have found Correct. ourselves in a country and in a situation where our legislators go, to, go and become no files. They forget where they are coming from. Look at for you to have done the correct thing now. I believe they did the correct thing also. People are present. I want a situation where if it is you or any other legislator from the southeast, you have your caucus. Tell our people that they must protect the interests of our mass of the masses. We voted you, we sent you there for a reason. But unfortunately, we are not seeing the impact of what you, those of you from the southeast, are doing. It is really unfortunate. A situation where the house will bring out something, including this rule, and none of you knew the details before they came out. I mean, it's really regrettable. As legislators, if government makes requests for a loan, before they approve it, you should know all the details mm -hmm. and know the little details of the whole thing, where they are going to, not going to, to your constituency, not going to your zone, and so on and so forth. That is how the people are representing in 
a qualitative way. Anything short of this is highly unacceptable. Please, you push your back to the drawing board. Find out why you are there. If not, there is provision for recall. Time will come when the whole South East will decide to recall these legislators. And in any case, don't think that because you are there, you are voted there. I mean our legislators. Then because they are, some of them are imposed on the masses, you feel you will not go there and do whatever you like. Time for that is gone. Please continue to represent us very well. Let me join Nigeria to thank you, even people to thank you for the work you did. And say that you must do more and find a way of liaising with your colleagues and call the state houses of assembly in the South East to order. They should work hand in hand with you people for the interest and development of this our zone. Thank you and God bless you. Chief, Chief Fida, you, you, yeah. you did not say anything about the, the loan in Imo states. The loan, the loan for Imo states, we are monitoring. It was judiciously used because in the past we've gotten such loans and they were not used for the purposes they were meant for. Now, whatever is coming must be closely monitored by the media. But that's to you, Angele, and other media houses must know how this loan, what it will be used for. A situation where the loan will be diverted and everybody keeps quiet because of market interest and so on will no longer be accepted. We must put government on these tools. That is our responsibility as journalists. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Chief uh, Fidel Onyeleke, that is the former chairman of our. Uh, and you, Jay, yeah, in the state. You have what he said. Yes, I. about uh, you doing what you elected. I am on, honestly, I am 100% on the same page with him. I, I, I thank you so much, sir. You know, sometimes the problem is not our representatives, the problem is our represent, uh, uh, the represented. The people, yeah. The represented. This voice is the expect. My mantra is expect more. I chose that man and people said, you cannot go with this mantra to the people because they will kill you. After my first tenure, I was uh, put under pressure to drop it. But every time I go out there, I say to the people, expect more because I want to put myself on my toes and give my best. If I want to land at 100, I'm going to aim for 500 so that when I fail my own target, I will meet your target. So I want to thank you so much. We have not passed this request. The National Assembly, the House of Representatives, have not passed this request from Mr. President because of the reasons we have stated. We want it to be inclusive. Let me tell you, sir, this request in the National is in contravention of the current approved 2020 medium-term expenditure framework. It calls for inclusiveness. Okay. That every constituent part of this country must be included. It must be part of it. It is disconnected from the 2020 approved Appropriation Act, which has a borrowing component, which has been approved by Congress. And as the money is coming, we know how much we're borrowing and all of that. So how can I, having made an act of law, saying this is the amount we're going to borrow in this fiscal year, now come without corrigendum, without any just come and approval? I need to know the details. I need to come back to NMBK and say, look, my my leaders, this is what is going on in Nigeria. This is what we have been able to secure into the southeast. And from that basket, this is what will come to Imo. And this is what I'll fight for for our federal constituents. That is how it works. So thank you so much for being reawakening my my spirit this morning. And that is what we I expect when I come on live program. Yeah. I want to hear. I don't want to hear just oh he's doing what he's doing. Yes, I want to hear this type of yeah. This is, all right, hello. 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 Yeah, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Your good name morning. and where you're calling from? Your name and where you're calling yeah. from? Yeah, this is Douglas Prince Mola, calling from Florida. Okay. Greetings, greetings to you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Greetings to my honorable, honorable Harry Wawuba. Greetings. Greetings. Wawuba, I love you so much. Even before you become a lawmaker, I'm one of your fans. Thank you, sir. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. You are doing well in the National Assembly. At least, if not for one thing, at least the emotion you moved last time ago. I really appreciated it. But the imbitoli, you can do. But I didn't want to advise you on this. You should wake up. Because your legislative duties are being biased. And I put it to you.
you that if you continue in this way, then be telling people and the children will not be happy with you at the end. Take for instance. Hello? Yes, go ahead. Go on, go on. Take for instance. Your legislative we have never seen anything at all from you. From like, the journey and the case. Hello? I want to understand what you mean by legislative duties because you have just said the the motions you moved the last time and all that. Yeah, they are legislative. Yeah, yeah, so what yeah, what specific yeah. what specific what specific legislative duties are you talking about? What we said in there for? The yeah. people are complaining. The people are complaining. You should sit up. I'm just advising you. You should sit up. I love you so much. All right, thank, thank you, you thank you. Okay, well, I, I, it would be very, uh, it would be better if people can yeah. be specific. Uh, say legislative duties, yeah. not point at, uh, yeah, you know. Okay, um, let, let's go over to another um, issue. Um, Honorable, I hope we're not uh, taking much of our time, but if you want to exit at any time, there's no problem. But we're going ahead with uh, their analysis. Uh, one is, um, um, last week it was about, uh, in here, the has uh, expected... Uh, return, return and uh, the the reaction from uh, his uh, opponent or from the, uh, government, from the government and even from and, the and, and law security agencies. agencies, you know, okay. And uh, <clears throat> you do have cried foul and said um, that um, he was uh, being uh, he has been exiled. Yes, exiled. You know, because we know what happened in Kano State where <laughs> somebody was banished. <laughs> and uh, he said he didn't know he had been uh, <laughs> banished from the state. But the question is, I mean. Um, uh, did the constitution not provide for I mean, free assembly, free movement, and uh, freedom of uh, association? Yeah. So, if anybody wants to, uh, if, if uh, as a top class politician he is, who has fans and supporters and all that, he wants to come back and even want to make it a show. I mean, is it not allowed? What is the problem with that? Uh, okay. okay, there's something I want to say. Uh, before yeah. Mode will come with his. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, the right honorable Emeka had all the rights and privileges to return. And uh, by what has happened, just happened, I mean, recent events, he couldn't have come in secretly. I mean, there should have been a party to welcome him. Even at least by his supporters, by his supporters, and even PDP members and interested support emolites, those who love him. But it's like the state government was jittery that such a reception will uh, kind of, uh, do I say, dent their image or make them look uh, less than state government. So they had to issue a statement. And somehow the police also agreed with them, with the state government. And uh, like that allegation PDP made, some people were hired to infiltrate the, the reception so that it could now turn chaotic and you now slam it on the, the former governor. He, he did what was uh, right by calling off his return. Because if that uh, return or reception was hijacked and there was commotion in the state, they would blame it on him. And they may even want to arrest him. So I commend him for seeing that and then uh, postponing his return. We will still receive him whenever he comes back in a, in a very big way. Okay, 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 okay. 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 You see, first of all, I want to tell you that there is no absolute freedom in our constitution. You, that the constitution allows you freedom of uh, movement. Yeah. If there is a coffee, if there is a problem, the state can impose coffee and they still get a movement. It is not absolute. If you have absolute, you have the right to for life. If a doctor discovers that the, the life of a woman is in danger, the woman you are out of a pregnancy, the, woman, the doctor can terminate that pregnancy. No, we, we, now, the woman's consent. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on In this instance, there can never be two governors in the, at a time. We are, we are all here. Mm -hmm. Not to stop the former governor from coming to the state. But I want to tell you, actual and reaction are direct and opposite. One begets the other. Few, yeah, was, was it coming to oh, hold on, hold on, hold on? Take over few weeks, house. few weeks ago. A few months ago, we are all here. When the former governor, the the, the predecessor to him, John, the Rocha Sokorocha, mm -hmm. wanted to return here, it is it is simply which one got And he, they stop the man. Almost stop the man. No, 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 hold, no, no, hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They tried to stop the man from coming. Now, what happened two days ago when Hedjoan was to come in? 
you now saw people uh, mounting billboards. Here is our hero. Here is our governor. Here and all that. PDP people trying to make the entire. See, the governor has security reports. It was discovered, perhaps he discovered that either through security report or whatever source, that the that the return of the governor was actually targeted at at something you know to, to actually targeted to cause trouble. They didn't they didn't tell the governor not to return. They didn't tell him he had to not to return. Mind you, they didn't tell him no. He cannot come back. He cannot come back. It was him who called off the who called off the, the his, his return based on what he said was security report. Also, he got now what police did was to issue a statement, one supporters. To go about this thing peacefully, police never said Nigeria don't come back. The government never said Nigeria don't come back. Don't come back. Perhaps it could be a plot, the plot by the former government. Maybe he never wanted to come back. Just use that as a, as a gimmick. He never wanted to come back. To so to what, attract more sympathy. Yeah, to attract more sympathy. Perhaps now, if he if he actually meant well and he wants to come back, nothing still stopped the governor from issuing. I mean, the former governor. From for giving the social supporters or to be people who are here who are, who are holding brief for him and tell them, please let everybody be calm. I will come back by here. I don't want this whole noise. Nobody should come to the airport. Nobody should do it. You can come back by nobody will harass him. But he, given what happened before the before the review, he saw incessant protests here and there. Everyone kept quiet. You protest here, you protest that you protest. There, was, there was a governor there. The man kept quiet, waiting for you to do the right thing. You were here as a governor. The office of the governor is, should be should be referred. Okay, so okay, that's what we are okay, saying. Okay, now 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 the, the, the question is the question is the first reference you made about Rocha Sokolocha. Mm -hmm. We all are in this state, and we know that uh, uh, Rocha Sokolocha returned to Imo State when he heard he was holding sway as governor. Yeah, amidst uh, fanfare. Yeah. Okay, there was fanfare. His supporters followed him from the airport, and uh, they marched through Douglas. With a retinue of uh, security aids and all that, and he went to uh, Spielberg. Roche, you, you know, okay. the difference between own and okay. the own. That day, a lot of people were not even aware Rochas was coming back. Uh, the European people were not aware that Rochas was coming. Rochas, Rochas just came in here. Some of his supporters were away. That was what happened. Rochas never made noise well, about well, his well, 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 I, I, I can't, I can't. Uh, I'm telling you, we are I, here, I, I, I can't say for sure because uh, that kind of crowd that came out. The second time, the second time, couldn't have been. I'm coming. Uh, uh, couldn't have been an been, accidental yeah, crowd. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then secondly, secondly, he was not harassed. Nobody. But he was declared citizen. No, 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 uh, jubilate with him, receive him, and all that. Should that be a problem to anybody? Should that should that call for all the warnings and red flags and the bad enough? Yeah, 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 I said, I said, I said, I said. See, naturally, see, power is jealous, and they say that you cannot be in power and be powerless. Anybody who is in power should be powerful. Mm -hmm. It is there in our it is there in our system here. Unfortunately, the way we practice democracy is not the same way we practice outside outside the country. What I'm saying, if there's anybody, he himself should understand the power inherent in that office. If that is, even if he was the to, to so, so, so you are saying that you are saying that you are saying that because why I'm asking you this question is that in the civil society, there's been some discussion going on in the civil society about uh, you know the freedom of space in the most state mm. that with this government freedom of space in the most state appear. To have begun to shrink because initially the governor issued a uh, red riot act, firstly, about people who are going to and it's not going to tol tolerate, tolerate for that start. protest. People Anti felt that protest. was, uh, you know, mm -hmm. and then uh, secondly, an incident happened also. I think um, I can't really remember now, but there are about three. This one is like the third one that's happening. And people are saying, Look, the freedom space might be in danger in Imo State with the way. Okay, the House of Assembly called for uh, ban. I think the House of Assembly yeah, placed yeah. ban on protests oh, and protest, all that, yeah, and all yeah. that you know. And see, these are strange things that does you know haven't happened here before, even during the <laughs> the terrific time of uh, the first APC government. I think I'm like an interested person. No, 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 I'm, trying trying to I'm trying to dig out. I'm trying to dig out. Abdul, 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 we are all here in the state. We are not like on rebel that spent maybe. Uh, weekends in a week 
two times a week. We are, we, we, we are here. We know all these things that have, that have been happening. Let me tell you, people have even been accusing the governor of being a sensitive too lenient. Really? Yes. They are been accusing Governor Hope. Are, are, sure, are you sure the governor, being, are you sure the governor you, is surrounded with people that will actually give no, him let me tell the you, right because advice? Because Hope, 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 Hope is Adema is known to be too, to be too, too lenient to, too to kind, too too kind, kind to effort. Yeah, Saturday this is condoning. I bet you, even Rochas, even Hedro, couldn't have condoned it. Okay. I'll give you an instance. Even when the House Assembly gave that, uh, gave that uh, so-called order, do you understand? There were still protests. As a governor, people were wearing blacks. Yeah, they, 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 were, they were protesting at the Pema. They will protest and march along the street. Nobody will harass them. It happened here in the state. It has never happened in Nimo State before. During Rochas' time, when uh, Kelechi Mago, they said they wanted to do protest. That same day, Rochas, Rochas, as Jeff Moha and as one well, as well, as well of his supporters, they went and feast under protest and they stopped Kilet Chimago. Rocha has never allowed protest to happen in this state. He told himself, as a governor, never allowed that to happen. Okay. Why, why do you think another person will be there and they allow you to do, to do the same thing? You never allowed right. that to happen. Okay, um, uh, on the very wrong one, I'm, I'm not sure you, uh, do you, you want to say anything on this? Yeah, I, I'm constrained to say something. You know, when you are popular, yeah. you are popular. If Ehedio had decides to come back in another one year, expect some reaction. I think that's basic and we need to understand it. I was actually bailed to come back with the governor on that day. And when we saw the tension on ground, um, too much heavy armed police presence, as if Nigeria, um, Imo State was under siege, we advised ourselves and said, look, it might not, it might not even be uh, a PDP person or an Ihedio person that will trigger something. And a mob action starts like a joke. Yeah. Once there's tension awesome. and enough crowd, it can happen. And as a responsible uh, person, he said, look, my trip is not worth the loss of it. Do you remember the story of Som Yeah. The, you yeah. know, one life is very important. He said, look, I'm going to abort it. Two, Ihedio was not coming back for any other thing than the Congress. The Congress. He's the leader of the party. He's not on exile. He has to come back. Whether we like it or not, he will have to come back. His animal life is not on, on exile. That was the reason why he was coming back. From January 14th, that the first Supreme Court pronouncement had been done, he has stayed away, if not for the Congresses. Now we are having the Congresses without him, in the leader of the party, being on ground. And the Congresses are going ahead. It speaks to the kind of personality that you have in place. What is important is that we need to know that he is popular. He is, if he goes to a burial today, or if he goes to a wedding today, there will be. Th if he enters a church, we cannot stop uh, it. One of them were even complaining that, that he didn't attend the burial of a uh, late uh, senator Ben Owadimo. As you mean, he had attended. Do you understand? So, uh, uh, so again, remember, so, so, remember, so, remember, remember that he, 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 the deputy governor, the former deputy governor, threatened. You remember that? Threatening that he, they would make. Uh, governor Hope was the mass government ungovernable. Even now, yes, uh, that, 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 and this that, is that, that actually the, 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 the evil yeah. bird cried at night. The child died in the morning. Abdul, yeah. I just okay. want to finally <laughs> say this: the, the third <laughs> thing is that uh, there has been no protest march that has not been with the approval of the security agencies in Imo. Mm -hmm. Every time we marched, we wrote to the police. Even in India, has uh, returned. We officially notify the security agencies that he is going to come, we are going to go to the airport to receive him. From there, we are going to go to the state parties again for him to address the crowd and all of that. We are, like he, uh, Modesto said, he has been in power, he is a procedural person, he knows the processes. We have to, by law, if you need to match, you need to let them know. And that's what we've done. We've complied with all the extant rules. If anybody wants to hijack the process we are not going to be part of it and that's what happened i was built to come back on that day i couldn't come back i only came back yesterday for uh, congresses that will be happening in my federal constituency today but that's what we see ourselves but for you civil societies i urge you guys to brace up it's not going to be easy it's going to get tougher so if you think that uh, it's going to be a tea party there might be an attempt to gag there might be an attempt to restrict there might and there might not be. So just brace up. We don't know the hand that we're going to see, but whatever it is, please do not be cowed. You need to remain the conscience and the voice of the people. All right. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning. 
Okay, my name is Sir William Williams. Okay, William Williams. Williams. Okay, go on. Yeah, now I don't know where we're about. I salute you. Thank you. And the girl and the mother, but they are finding more like the persecuted to the governor. So we we all know ourselves. You know we're all in this state. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, the first time I went to the Buhari Wawo Bank is to make you know a motion that they, that we always remember and always be, you know re, you know always be college. So because I'm aware even the tariff, when by the time you withdraw money you be charged. I'm aware that the right on the Buhari was among those that you know stood up to say no to that uh, you know uh, suppression and that uh, also objection of any people. I'm aware of that one. I think this is not the first time. Uh, right on the world one has made so many laws that uh, even if he leaves office after his death year tenure as a lawmaker, he's going to we always be remembered. So lawmakers we just elected today collected money and land and we're all aware of that. And collected money and land and defeated the party that they were condemned, they were against, but we're all watching and there will be a day of uh, recall and a day of payback. Right on the governor, the elected governor of Himo State, the elected governor of Himo State, we're all still in Limon. And the day that the election took place was asked, was there, you know, not to come back. He's going to come back. Mm -hmm. If a judge, if a judge that gets the sending voice went, went to a wedding and the man was given a erotic, you know, official and family. Okay, um, oh, 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 I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to cut you off now because yeah, we want to have a music break. I'm, I'm, well, well, you call back. You call back. We want to go for a music break now. Just a uh, 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 short music break, and then we're back. And uh, before we go for that music break, um, um, Honorable Henry Wawoba will be leaving the studio because he has a very tight schedule. We're so happy he has been able to spend uh, one hour thirty minutes with us here. So, Honorable Henry Wawoba, what's your parting word as you leave? I want to appreciate and say a very big thank you to you and the panelists. I am excited that such vibrant conversation is uh, taking place in Imo State. Clearly, we can see the divide between uh, the two camps, <laughs> even there and there. I never knew that Modestus belongs to <laughs> this and that side. But uh, we are brothers and in this story and in this journey. Please, um, there's a critical piece of legislation that we're pushing through again. It's my bill. It's called the Southeast Development Commission Bill. If you notice in the uh, National Assembly now, there's a plethora of development commissions yes, coming yeah. through. The Southwest has come through. I spoke in favor of the Southwest as a way of lobbying the Southwest so members yes. to support mine when it comes. Okay. And we have lobbied to get it gazetted and we want to push it through in an inclusive format, hoping that if anyone will go through, all of them will go through at the same time. I will need your prayers and your support to make that happen. It's a bill that I have also made every member from the southeast extraction to be a co-sponsor so it's not a, a henry wilbur bill it's a southwest bill southeast uh, bill. South, uh, sorry southeast yeah. bill uh for my federal constituency i take on the comments on youth empowerment uh and all the other things um it's incremental it's not i mean i've got the privilege of representing you now this is year five and by the grace of god this is only this fifth year that i've been able to bring on my signature project, which is MBK Legislative Center, which is basically like an international conference center for youth development, where we will have a, a computer-based training, CBT, so we can bring in JAM, NECO exams in Ruby, which is the center of our federal constituency. It is a project that I've attracted by the um, Ministry of uh, Niger Delta that I happen to be the chairman of the committee now. So again, my people can expect more yeah. infrastructural development from these budgets that are going to come under my purview. It's a major multi-million naira project. It's going to be international standard. They have done the groundbreaking and all the money to see it through is uh, uh, out there. The contractor is on ground. At some point today, I'm going to also go and inspect that. Unfortunately, I have to run now because the World Congress is for my party uh, is going on and I just have to be part of it. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you, Honorable Henry. So well, uh, you've been media friendly all the way. Anytime we are called upon, you come. And I uh, will pray that uh, you will continue to maintain this uh, uh, stand. All right, we'll have a music break now and then I will come back and continue with the program. Keep on listening, don't go anywhere. 
I can stay this side now. Yeah, okay, you can stay here. Yeah. Uh, you see, I'll be telling you, you wait, I wish you would hear your heart. We will we, we, we receive him. Only time you must, we will receive him. I'll be your head, 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 your Okay. Okay. Uh, this area is sound though. Okay, um, you're still on to I report on Ozisa 96.1 FM Uwere. I'm Akko Bidimma, aka Abdul, your activist on radio. I'm sure you are enjoying the program. I bet you this is the best program you can get on a Saturday morning east of the Niger, anywhere. Okay, and um, um, uh, Honorable Harry Mwamba has just uh, um, left the studio. I'm left with uh, Gele Abai and uh, uh, Modestus, who are publishers here in Imo State and journalists. And uh, we'll continue with the program, but we're now going to be taking your, your calls. You had all you know that, that have been discussed, so you are free to call now and let's have your take. Hello? Hello, good morning. Good morning. My name is Akudu. I'm calling from Malaka. Okay. Go ahead. Um, I'm very sorry. I just caught in between the program, so I really did not get the full um, introduction. Please, are the people still with you in the studio, journalists, or are they affiliated to any political party? Well, they are, they are journalists, and um, they are not uh, bad from uh, having uh, inclinations. They are journalists. <laughs> it's good to have a balanced. It's good to have a balanced, uh, uh, balanced view here. We have one here, one here. So that's okay. Oh, oh, okay. If that be the case, no problem. But I was really beginning to ask myself exactly why is it that the people that are affiliated to any political party? In the spirit of sportsmanship, keep it up. But in the spirit of animal life, 
Uh, no, well. <laughs> <laughs> you have to okay. All right, thank okay. you. Okay. <laughs> All right, keep the calls coming. Zero seven zero eight two six four one six two five. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Your name where are you calling from? Yeah, this is Mister calling from Olapa. Go on, please. Um, I was listening to. Honorable Mawoba and uh, Mr. Modesto so claims to be a journalist. No, he is not. He is not claiming he is a journalist. He's a publisher. Thank a you. You see, I, I don't really understand where our future lies. Listen, I'm 34 years old. I was told that we are leaders of tomorrow. And our elders, who are in the are still in power. And the youths, who are, who are in my age, Aligned supporting them. What are, when we get to 90 years ruling this state or becoming governors or whatever we are going to be, what are we going to pass to our children? Are we going to tell them they are the leaders of tomorrow? That is what. Two, it has come to my understanding that before you become an APC or P, uh, before you become a journalist writing about APC, you must be lying from left to right. So, well, I, I, I take exception. Uh, hello, hello, okay, please. I'm sorry, hello, I'm please. sorry about that. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. But I must tell you, or I must ask a question, must, is it a crime for Ihejiona to come back? You collected power from him. Fine. He accepted it. He admitted it with his good faith. What is his crime? Did, have you ever heard Ihejiona during the protest or whatever? Did he see Ihejiona? Saying yes, my people, I support you people, keep on protesting. Or uh, kill anybody as you guys maybe the his predecessors might do if they are, if there happens to be in power. Is it listen, whether you like it or not, in the next fifty years or hundred years to come, when you know the world is on will get, get power, they must get back all that we are taking from them. Whether you like it or not. All right, thank you. Not. Okay, thank you. I think you have you have you have you have made your point. Your time is up, your time is up, sorry. We we'll have to uh, take other calls, okay? Zero eight zero three two two five three four one five. Hello. 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 Good morning. Your name? Where are you calling from? I'm Trebu on the line. I'm calling from Aware. Go on, please. Uh, uh, good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good, good, good morning. Mm -hmm. uh, is it honourable one over? Revolver has left the studio, but go on. Okay, okay. What I'm trying to say in this aspect they are talking about, let me ask you, Ako Videma. I, I know that they are activists. There's a time against what the Russian government has been. They arrested you. I think you know. So, is it a crime? My my brother that spoke to us, is he a crime? Somebody is coming back. Then he said, he's coming back to come and receive him. Is he a crime? I'm asking you, my brother. It's not a crime. Why people you have answered it, lying, lying unnecessarily? That the Ihanga people, they want to do protest or whatever, whatever. They are not doing for. They want to receive their brother. They want to receive... Thank you, thank you. I, I, I want us to use uh, uh, decent, words. decent words and uh, be very cautious in our use of words, please. Don't abuse anybody, please. Hello. Yeah. Good morning, Abdul. Good morning. Your name? Where are you calling from? Senior Comrade Innocent Okong is calling from Omo Tazo. Go on, please. Thank you. Let's put this. Uh, let's put the record straight and let's face the topic squarely. It's not wrong. And it's not a crime for the governor to come in. That way, the state belongs to all of us. But there is a rumor that, uh, that there some people want to use that as a law and protest and engage a protest in emo state. And that's 
same morning, I heard from the DPRB said He said that the, uh, the command is not aware of any protest in Imo State. Now, I think we should not encourage crisis. What will happen is that the governor, the ex governor, can call the type of person he is. He noticed that, that a, the things are not normal and he postponed and canceled the threat. But I want to inform our people that we will have the governor at the time in a state. Currently, who puts the man is the governor. And we know that some of the supporters of Boneka Yedwana, they are not happy based on the outcome of the last Supreme Court uh, judge. Uh, judgment. judgment. They are not happy. So anything can happen. These people and real supporters may be innocent of the whole thing. Another group may hijack the reception and put it through a protest. And it may be a deadly one for that matter. You remember, Pope Zodima have another group that is have at a position in his administration. Already, the DDP is the main opposition. And they have another group, which is a group. group. Are you sure? Are you are you are you sure they are in opposition? Because they are they are they are happy and they are rejoicing. And they are, why, 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 will you, why will you say they are opposition? Let me tell you. Few days ago, they were complaining that none of them made the commissioner list, and they were complaining. They were bitterly complaining. So they are not happy. You see, so people. But this is a lot to lose now. And so is another thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. You have made your point. Thank you. All right. Um, is there any rancor? Any rift? No. It's the set of his own imagination. There's no <laughs> rift. Not to my knowledge. Okay. Not to my knowledge at all. That's at least Modestus knows about. He knows. You know, <laughs> <laughs> he has good knowledge of what is happening. So he said there's just, no rift. So no it's better you take, you take what he Everybody. Everybody is happy. Okay. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Your name and where you're calling from. My name is Treasurer. I'm calling from Olo. Treasurer. <laughs> treasure, treasure, Melody. Treasure. Treasure. Okay, Treasurer. I thought you said Treasurer. I'm asking for what is this. Okay, go on. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Please, uh, I want to correct one impression. When was the addressing our governor, let it be Supreme Kimo, Supreme Court Governor. Who put the judgment? Where is the governor? Please. Where is the governor? Supreme Court. All right. Well, that's your view, and uh, you're entitled to it. All right. So, 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 will, you, so will it be right to address a uh, former governor as a INEC declared for, 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 uh, governor? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe you address it or two as INEC declared. If you address him as INEC declared, INEC was supposed to. No, 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 no. Supreme Court was supposed to. Supreme Court also was supposed to give verdict. To the who to who actually won you know, okay, won let's, the election. Let's, let's, so it's a supporting. Hello. <laughs> yes, good morning. Your name and where I'm calling from. Please lower the volume on your radio. I can hear myself. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Is it okay? Okay, it's go okay. on. Hello? Your name and where I'm calling from. I'm calling from Okiguero. Your name? I know it's in Kendra. Okay, go on. You see, I concur with the Last time, in generally, are not happy. Whatever the other person may say, he saying his own. What we know is that our present government is a single government, not the post government. And that is why we are seeing what we are seeing. Anytime our voted governor comes back, we must come and say, thank you. They will not stop it. The Supreme Court judges have put problems in this state. That's what I want to say. Thank you. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Okay. Let's take this one. Hello. Hello. Um, good morning. Good. Uh, good morning. Just calling from home. Uh, you can uh, uh, you have 30 seconds, please. Okay. Please, I want to uh, address the issue of why uh, you are coming back. Is he a Google Haram man? Is he a Hedgeman? Is it what do you call a Usa people that. Uh, Sorry, uh, I, I, have to, I have to cut you there. Uh, we don't allow such. Don't uh, stigmatize or. 
uh, you know, um, you know, use uh, words that are not acceptable to describe uh, people and all that. It's not uh, acceptable. All right, um, um, you are still on to I report on Uzi Sun ninety six point one FM. Worry and um, please listen to this announcement. The Nigeria Union of Pensions, in collaboration with the Global Mission Hospital, a non-governmental organization, holds a one-day medical awareness seminar for Imo State pensioners. Date, Tuesday, 19th March 2020, time 11 a.m. Venue, Nigeria Union of Pensioners Senior Citizen Center, Olu Road. Signed, Evangelist Linus U. Ashiebu, JP, State Secretary. All right, we are still on with our uh, report, and um, we are taking your feedback now. From now till the wrap of the program, we'll be taking your feedback. Hello. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Your name, where are you calling from? Yes, it's Brother Tampa. I'm calling from MCC. Go on. Uh, there is the there is the article that you read out from, uh, from the beginning about uh, the. Uh, state court governor, the same old state governor, President Lima, give, give uh, Ruga people land that don't go back. I have not treated that one now. Okay. Um. Yes. Uh. We 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 well. We have a lot to discuss about time. You know, time is not on our side. But um, uh, a bishop, the the prelate of uh, Christ Victorious Alive Revival Mission and rector of Alive Theological Seminary, where the bishop Ozoma Emmanuel, uh, he gave the warning. He, he warned uh, Richard. I mean, uh, Governor Hope Zodema not to seed Imo land for Ruga. You know, and um, I'm not sure the governor is doing that. Maybe he just sounding a warning. Mm. But I'm not sure there's any action that is uh, uh, taking towards that. Uh, Abdul, uh, see, Imo said is, is unfortunately becoming a fertile ground for all manner of propaganda and rumor. There was nothing, absolutely nothing, like that. There is nothing, even the governor himself, during the, the governor received. Uh, uh, received the uh, the, uh, an imam or uh, 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 an imam, the, 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 the chief imam of Imo State, mm. who incidentally happens to be from BC, mm. who happen, also happens to be a relative of the, the former governor. He received him at, at the a relative or a kinsman, yeah, well, however, now at the government house. The, the next day, they say the, the governor has uh, appointed uh, whatever, has appointed an M MI. An MI in the, in the state <laughs> and all that. Now it's a Ruka. How, how on earth will anybody no, no, propagate this? Bishop, this, 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 Bishop this, this, Ozoma was advising, advising the governor no, not to see the uh, uh, Across the entire southeast states. No, he was, the, the advice, yeah. uh, his advice was born out of the current, what, the current rumor perpetrated by the same people. You know, accusing the governor wrongly. The governor never approved any law. I'm not holding okay, let, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. I want to, there's an issue I want us to look at before, as journalists, before you leave. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that is, uh, uh, journalists, uh, you know, uh, take a swipe at those of them as uh, chief press secretary, uh, Oguike Machuku. Uh, according to, um, according to an article, according to an article in a uh, national, uh, national uh, news break, an article by one Onyema Echebri. Uh, he in a, in a, in that article he described he described uh, he described the chief press secretary. Uh, according to him, this is an excerpt. He said, but barely two months after his controversial. Okay, okay, okay. Not 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 this one. Okay. Um, I think in that article he described him as a, a cake. He described him as a cake. He said. Uh, modus operandi, outdated, obsolete, and he said he has been issuing a very watery, very watery press releases. You know, and um, what, what do you what, what do you have to get uh, about? Uh, let me let me talk to you because you are the publisher of a uh, national news break, and um, that article came through your paper. I'm sure you went through it before you published. Uh, yeah, yeah. The did you correlate it to the the chief that? press secretary to the governor? And uh, media advisor. He's also media, he's only okay. two positions: chief okay. press secretary and media advisor to the governor. One Ogu Wike Wachuku. You will agree with me that even his son name is standing straight Wachuku, not Chuku, which his people are known for. I mean, the NBC people are known to answer Wachuku, not Wachuku. Now he's been there for about two months <coughs> on the saddle. 
if you call him on phone, he hardly answers your. He will not pick. He will not respond. He will, if you send text, he will not reply. And uh, recently, he branded all the newspapers in Nemo State as rat tax. Well, I think uh, Rax even have some usefulness. He, but he, he, he just lumped us. And I was looking at his profile. I said, what has this man achieved in the media? He has worked in Champion, Champion newspaper as a police, a police affairs reporter. He worked at uh, Daily Independent. And finally, he landed uh, in uh, the niche. The niche is uh, an online platform. <clears throat> Owned by Ike Chupu Amechi, an international recognized journalist. That one I doff my heart for him. But he himself has not achieved anything meaningful in the profession. And he was tagging all the newspapers here as rat mm -hmm. So, what has he achieved? He, uh, a media man that cannot relate with his colleagues. He has not even cared to know those who are uh, the players here. I mean, if you come into a new environment, no matter how big or how successful you are or how good you are, you must look for people who are operating okay, here. Okay, time is not our side, but let's yeah. say, do you agree with him? And if you agree with him, what does that uh, portend for the governor? Um, the governor made his appointment. The chief executive he appointed. You know the reason why he appointed him. He's convinced about his personality and his profile. But so, you, as, uh, as, as a field journalist, your assessment, do you think he's living up to that... Uh, Mm, yes, well, uh, perception is uh, personal. Uh, to to have another person, his perception may be different from mine. Mm. Uh, but, uh, but what uh, is your own perception? Yeah. Well, uh, uh, in having to know my perception own. is that after now I will meet with him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. With that, uh, with that, uh, with that unclear perception, we will come to the end of the program today. I'm sure you have enjoyed the program. Uh, um, time is no more on our side, so we're going to be wrapping it up here. So I've been in the studio here with uh, Gele Abai, the publisher of National News Break. And uh, Gele will thank you for coming. Thank you, Adu, for inviting me once again. Okay, and I have uh, Modestus uh, Wampa here, who is the publisher of uh, Big Truth uh, Newspaper, the journalist. Uh, Mode, thank you for coming. Okay, thank well, you well, I really enjoyed your, 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 <laughs> your, your, your views and your opinion here. <laughs> and I hope moment. by next Saturday I will have you go to here again <laughs> no, for no problems. another round of analysis. <laughs> All right, dear listener, thank you so much. I'm sure you have enjoyed the program. We'll be back same time next week for another edition of I Report. I remain Akobidima, aka Abdul, your activist on radio. Until I come that time, I say Aluta Continua. Victoria Asata. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. Okay, 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 okay